right, interview of a lifetime. I hope there's no filter on this because it's going to fall out. All right. No, I'm going to oversaturate it. Well, then it will be beautiful. We'll put it I'm trying to take after you. It's beautiful. Wow. How do you guys know how to If you do bad, I'll just put it in black and white. <laughs> you guys there's a lot of the sun in it. Recording? I am recording, so you can Are go. you recording? You can go anytime you like. Alright, you can go anytime you want. Hi, this is Natalie Brown, and you're with Virtual Shoutout. We are here in Atlanta, Georgia at the Masquerade with the one, the only, Brian Stars. Hi. I'm just kidding. Hi, how you doing? I'm Brian Stars. I'm a YouTube interviewer, but I today am being interviewed by someone much more attractive than me. But I'm pretty used to that since I interview everyone that's more attractive than me. In fact, I go through life being unattractive. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too, Brian. Absolutely. Now, Brian on YouTube, he has 350... He's 23 years old, he's from Omaha, Nebraska, and he has interviewed almost every band in the punk rock genre under the sun. Yes, under the sun. The ones under the moon I'm still going for. Um, Not there yet, you can't afford the spaceship. <laughs> that is damn true, actually, I am poor as shit. Um, but yes, I have 365,000 365, subscribers, I've interviewed a lot of bands, and I'm very lucky to do what I do. And some of the bands include um, Black Bill Bride, Slipknot, Modern Day Escape, Her Bright Skies, who is right over there, and, um, you know, just a bunch of uh, American Idols, um, you know, Rob Zombie, a homeless guy one time. Not, not that Rob Zombie's a homeless guy, but I've done that. And Johnny. This is my merch guy. We haven't talked about Who is this guy that's just standing here with us? Nobody knows. I'm just some, like, squirrel, apparently, to everybody. I'm a baby squirrel. That's what they call me. I don't know why. They call him baby squirrel. By the way, are you going for Goopy, or am I just ruining your interview? Whatever you want. That's what she said. All right. Let's go. All right. So, Brian, what is your favorite comedy or action movie? My favorite comedy is my life story. Uh, <laughs> it is just one tragic... Tragedy after another. No, I, I find my favorite comedy was um, The Emperor's New Group. He actually. A, oh, yeah! Oh my and God! A fan brought that to me the other day, and we watched it. We gotta watch it on Netflix. Yeah, we watched it. We watched it together, and uh, we cried at the end because it was so beautiful. You cried? Have you ever fanboyed before an interview? For this one, actually, I uh, I found out that there was gonna be there's a really bright light here. That's why I'm wearing sunglasses. When I found out that I was gonna be doing a, um, an interview with real lighting, I was I was excited because honestly, with my interviews, I never I never get to use real lighting. That's what I told my camera girl. Yeah, exactly. No, on a serious note, though, probably my favorite. I always fangirl when I interview All Time Low. They're my favorite band in the whole world, and. Uh, yeah, I don't know. They just they make my ovaries explode. You know what I mean? So you do pick favorites. Yes, yes, I do. All time low. Mwah. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Sorry. It's a little sexual frustration there. Anyway. Yeah. So when did you really realize that you are as famous as the bands you interview? That is not true at all. Uh, <laughs> I, I, the only reason people recognize me is because I wear a blue shirt. I actually went to work tour and I just wore a different shirt and nobody recognized me. So the shirt's famous, not me. But, you know, um, on a serious answer though, I guess when I was starting to go into shows and people started asking me for pictures and autographs and stuff, it was pretty cool. You know, it kind of sucks because I'm really ugly, so it's like, ugh, you really want a picture, but, uh, you know, I still do it to please the fans. But, uh, you know, deep down it's it's terrifying because you're afraid I'll break the camera. You know what I mean? So. What is the first interview you ever did or posted on your channel? Uh, I interviewed Slipknot. Um, it was the first, no, my first interview was Metro Station. Yeah. Second Slipknot. one, that was Slipknot. Slipknot. Yeah, you know, I was, that was my metal phase, you know. <laughs> Johnny's in that phase right now. No. <laughs> no, I'm not. Yes, he is. In the back, he's like, um, what was that? I, my favorite play was uh, it was Slipknot or Disturbed. Um, it was two of my first ones, and it was amazing because they were both playing arenas. There were like five, 6,000 people there. I was like, why are you talking to me? I'm like, I'm 18 years old. 
I have no friends, I'm single, why? You know? And I was able to get an interview with them, and it was so cool. And I think that's why my show has gotten popular, is because I'm relatable with my bulging beard cut and my acne-covered face. <laughs> no, but seriously, I think that's why. So, who is the shyest and smartest rocker you've ever met? Myself. Just kidding. What? <laughs> Johnny! Johnny, he's you know, he's gonna be a rock star someday. He's like, you know, he's gonna be like the new Justin Bieber, you know? Swag, 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 swag. Johnny, how old are you? Uh, six. He's six years old. Yeah. And 12 years, he's gonna release his debut album. Girly, and it's Girly Got Swag. That's what it's gonna be called. Girly, Girly Got Swag. You heard it here, folks. On a serious note, though, I like to interview bands when they're just starting out, you know? Like, when they don't have an ego and they don't take themselves too seriously um, because let's be honest I don't take myself seriously whatsoever um, what are you talking about Brian this is about the music it is serious on a serious serious note <laughs> just kidding um, but yeah you know I like to oh almost put on there the drugs um, but yeah I just really like to you know work with, uh, with bands that are starting out and then build that relationship because when you get them at the top it's like oh we'll give you five minutes and uh, you know whatever so I like to I like to do it more like this. You're not going to be there for like three hours. So, who's the nut job on tour? Who's absolutely crazy? James. He's insane. Honestly, I have seen I have seen more of James than I care to admit on camera. And it was not consensual. Let's put it that way. This morning it was not consensual. Let's get out of the shower. No. Oh, no. Or then the van when you... Uh... Oh, yeah. Yesterday's uh, B-hole wake up. Oh we made him come get the keys, and I was standing there with my b-hole right in the door when he opened up, and my b-hole right in his face. Sabotaging your interview. Yes, this is, uh... Wait, what band are you from? Um, oh, from no, the yeah. Misfits. He's from the Misfits. Oh, from the Misfits. Do you children know what the Misfits are? That was James. He's the lead singer from the Misfits. Escape, and this is the lead singer of the Misfits. Yes. It is so nice. <laughs> my, name is, my name is Glenn Danzig. It is so nice to have you in my yeah, interview. absolutely. I'm honored to have sure. you. Sure. You know what's cool is you have the same hair. We... Kind of. Yeah. Mine's a little longer. Yours is a little longer. Yours is better. Oh, look what you did. What? You just have to mess things up. Get out of my interview right now. Shit. Just leave. Oh, yeah. Leave. Don't. You misfit. Oh. You misfit. <laughs> You're just a big old misfit. God. No wonder he named his band that, you know. So, God. so why did you start interviewing this genre in general? You could have started with pop or country or rap, why did you choose punk pop and punk pop and rock? Pop, pop, pop. I, uh, I, I interview these bands, um, I interview these bands because they're humble and they're relatable and, uh, and honestly they get more views. Like I, they, the bands that are just getting started, bands want to know like who they are and why they're being big. So those videos get a lot of hits, but at the same time they need the exposure so they're really easy going. It just works, you know? Um, and I like good music, all right? I don't be listening to no One Direction, y'all. <laughs> yeah, that's actually like my whole iPod. <laughs> we all know you fall asleep to Harry Styles' face. Yeah, you know what? I said we all know you fall asleep to Harry Styles' face. Yes, I do. Naked. Thank you, Brian, for that tidbit of information. We definitely needed that. You want more? I'm good. Right. I'm good. All right. So... I don't know if you knew this, but Atlanta is notorious for our terrible drivers, and I know that you've already had a run-in with the police now. We're always... Just kidding. Now, <laughs> now, what I was going to say is I have to imagine what's going through the police officer's mind, because earlier you tweeted about being pulled over by the cops. More than and twice. No, three times. Yeah. And I have to wonder what's going through the police officer's mind, looking in the back of the van and seeing all these rockers with tattoos and hair metal and, and studs. coming to the front and seeing me at the front going, wonder, hot damn, who is that? Fine looking gentleman. <laughs> I was wondering if he thought you were kidnapped. Yeah. Honestly, I feel like I am. Like, sometimes I wake up and I don't know where I am, why I'm there. Who I'm with. I didn't sleep the night before. It's a disaster. Who's in your bed with you? Who's in bed with me? You know, for a while now, you know. Um, just kidding. That has never happened. I've tried, but you know, can't can't score. You know. Um, but uh, whew, life sucks. But yeah. Anyway, long story short. Um, yeah. It. Uh, I. I just feel. I think they would be just amazed by my beauty. So Brian, 
You've asked the question before. Get out of my chair. No. Jamie, come here. Come here. You've asked. Come on. All right. Come on. All right. Why not? Jamie from from Herb Wright's guys. What's up? We've been dating What's for up, two guys? years now. Yeah. That's why he's on the Brian Stars tour. Going steady. Yep. Steady. We are. We go moving in we go steady. together next week. You're about I think. to. Be- yeah. I'm I moving to Nebraska. I'm <laughs> I think you guys got nominated for Crane's new cutest couple. Yes, yes, we did. Yes, we did. It was all JV, though. Very happy about I'm just that. the supporting wife. You know. You stay at home. Stay you at clean, home. Cook, cook. Cook, clean. Apples. Cook the best lasagna in the world. <laughs> mm-hmm. Anything for you, baby. Oregano. Yeah. Is that what you call it here? Oregano. I'll teach you. Oregano. You'll okay. learn. So. Oregano. But, shoo, this is my interview. You go be a rock star, all right? All right? I'll go this way. Yeah, go do that thing you do. So, you yourself have asked the question, why do good girls like bad guys, but why do bad guys like good girls? Why do bad guys like good girls? Ask Johnny, he's a bad guy. Uh, no, I'm not. Badass over here. Um, he's a bad why do bad guys like good girls? Yeah. I'm scared of bad girls. No, good girls. Oh, why I mean do the- bad guys like good girls? It's two-way real. street, buddy. I, I, I don't. I, I don't know. I I'm only six, as I said. Women, either. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, I want the D. Yes, that's exactly it. I'm all about the D. You know. Um, I, I think it's just because they got that ass. You know, they just got that ass. Those buns. Those holy buns. Oh, my besties. Preach it, brother. Preach it. For this interview. Yes. After that, get out of my face. <laughs> Hi, guys. All right. So, so uh, Brian, it's such a stark contrast seeing you with this clean-cut look with your little air pastel and blue shirt yeah. and your little blonde hair. and my little blonde hair. <laughs> yes, your short little blonde hair. But I'm wondering, do you think that I can pull off the clean-cut look, too? Do you think that maybe I might need to get a little more rough and tough for honestly, this kind of thing? I think you should start coming to shows wearing nothing but a gymnast like spandex outfit and and black belt rides and makeup and a samurai sword there, and, there you go and black belt rides makeup on your face there you go Andy six days yes and that hat no this is yeah. mine yeah. I'm gonna steal his hat for every interview it's folks <laughs> so um I think that's about it any last words you wanna say or uh oh wait almost forgot anything you wanna say about the tour how's it going so far the Brian Star Tour has been great. It's being headlined by Ghost Town, and it has been an honor to have them. The kids absolutely love them. Um, we have Herb Wright's guys who are from Sweden, Modern Day Escape here. They're like the rock and roll veterans, and I'm riding with them, and it is one hell of an experience, let me tell you, as you heard earlier from James. Um, yes! And then, uh, and then we've got Ono Fiasco. They're like the nicest people I've ever met. Um, the Misfits guy is actually from Ono Fiasco. And, uh, and then we got Johnny selling merch. And, uh, and it's just one big happy family out here. No, it's been great. It really is about the viewers. We try and meet everyone. She said she wanted to come here and interview the band. So, you know, we're, we're doing it. It really is about everyone that comes to the show. And I'm sure if you ask someone who's been to the tour, they will tell you it was a hell of a time. And there was a really attractive guy on stage introducing the band. And I gotta say, since I've been to the tour myself and I've seen the performances, it really is amazing. There's something out there for everyone, and even if you don't like who's headlining or who's there, you'll always find something that you like. Unless you're like Miley Cyrus or One Direction, then you're just screwed. Yeah, <sighs> then you'll just be Johnny. Yeah, this is why I shouldn't be on the store. I don't know why I'm here. Just, just leave. Like just leave. Who is that guy? I don't even know who that I don't is. Know. How did he get in this interview? I don't know. That's weird, yeah. Yeah. Well, um, I think that's about it, but thank, thank you so much for your time, Brian, and for doing this interview. And thank you for existing and for paying me $500 to do this interview. That's right, folks. I had to bribe him to do this. Bye.